This is Aby's Grandies, the Grand Fur. Um, if you crush the leaves, it smells of fruit, like citrus. And underneath the leaf, it's got some white stomatal strands. Here's Asa saccharine and the sugar maple. Lovely sort of palmate leaf, uh, which is cut again along each section of the lobes. Vega sylvatica, our beech. This has an ovate leaf with a wavy or sinuous margin. You can see the cigar shaped buds and the beech mast nuts that are still in place. Our hornbeam, uh, Carpinus betulus, is also a useful plant for hedging. You can see it's got lots of veins, a serrated margin, and a very pointy acuminate tip. Catulpa bignanoides, the Indian bean tree, has large triangular shaped leaves quite hairy underneath and beautifully coloured freckly flowers. Here's the purple catalpa, the purpurea form, again very similar to the other catalpa except of its colour and again it's hairy underneath. Cedrus atlantica glauca is the blue atlas cedar, lovely sort of clusters of glaucous needles on the branches as it spreads out and the branches ascend. This is Cedrus deodora. The branches descend on Cedrus deodora and they're quite long needles. This is Circus siliquostrum, the Judas tree. This has reniform or kidney shaped leaves. You can see some of the pods there uh, are the fruit of the Judas tree. This is Cretaceous prunifolia. So it's a hawthorn but it has foliage shaped like a cherry and a serrated margin and you can see the thorns coming off. This is Vegas uh, Sylvatica cristata which is a, a beech which has very bunched up sort of leaves and sometimes slightly twisted. It's an attractive form and has good autumn colour. This is the ash tree Fraxinus excelsior with its pinnate leaves which come to uh, a point on the, on the end. Ginkgo biloba, the maidenhair, has fan-shaped leaves and they're quite, when you feel them, they've got quite peely to the touch. Male and female are on separate trees. This is Corylus avalana, our hazel, uh, which is hairy on the underside of the leaf, nice serrated margin, and has the beautiful hazelnuts. This is one of our other natives. This is a juniperus communis, the common juniper, and you can see it produces these lovely sort of berries which can be made into gin and some quite sort of prickly if you run your hands back through them needles. The medlar has quite sort of dull leaves which are hairy underneath but has a fantastic fruit following the white flower. This one is the hop on beam, Austria carpinifolia. Uh, as you can see the fruit is just like hops and the leaf is like a hornbeam, only maybe just a little bit more uh, thinner than the hornbeam. This is the English oak, Quercus roba. It has lobed margins and the acorns have a stalk. On to the willow, the golden weeping willow. This is Salix chrysocoma aurea, sometimes called Salix babylonica long lanceolate leaves with a slight serration and you can see those golden leaf stems. This is Sequiodendron giganticum, the giant redwood. There are trees in North America which measure 25 meters in girth and it's the biggest trees in the world. As you can see that the needles are very tight to the stem. If you run your hand back through them you can feel the, uh, the, the, the owl shaped and needles. This is Sequoia sempervirens, the coastal redwood. As you can see that the new growth, it comes to like a waistline and spreads out again. It has lovely bark too, lovely red fibrous bark. This is the white beam, Sorbus aria. The top of the leaf is green but on the underside it's white due to the white hairs. The flower is made up of a panicle of lovely flowers and that's often followed by red fruit. 
This is our strawberry tree, uh, another sort of native particularly to Ireland. And you can see the lovely strawberries that are there and the fruit. It's a member of the Ericaceae family, so the flowers look just like an Erica. The leaf is slightly sort of spatulate, tip, ta tapered, and is serrated margin. It's also evergreen. And here's the yew, Taxus bagata, with its green needles running up the branch, and the red fruit. Remember that inside the fruit, that seed is poisonous, but there is a chemical called Taxil in Taxus, which is used to fight ovarian cancer. Uh, this is the cork oak, and it's an evergreen, and it has slightly rolled leaves. You can see that the margin has a slight serration too, and they're alternate. Put this one in just to show you how they harvest cork oak. They can literally remove all that cork cambium on the outside and use that to make corks without actually killing the tree.